Hello there, greetings, Jackson here. How are you? Nice to have you as always. Mega menus, oh yes. Well, you may have seen a vid I made a couple of weeks ago, creating a tab component out of a ton of other Gutenberg core blocks. It was episode one of the series that I'm running, where is the missing blocks in WordPress core and whether or not those blocks should be in core and what we can do to overcome that if we need that type of block in our projects. Anyway, this time it's the turn of the mega menu. Useful if you want to display a little bit more than a load of links on your sub menus and pretty good for utilizing an extra bit of real estate to help drive that user journey and super popular on things like big new sites, e-commerce sites and all that that sort of stuff. Anyway, it's not in core WordPress, not entirely convinced it should be, but most big theme frameworks or page builder frameworks have it built in. And given that WordPress is now technically a page site builder, maybe it should be. Debate to be had there. Get your comments in below. Either way, after making the missing tabs block, it occurred to me that approach could be utilized for a mega menu. And with a little tweak here and there, I think I may have sorted it. So in this block theming tutorial, may I present to you the block theme mega menu. Right, let's get mega -ing. As mentioned, here's the horizontal tabs that we did a few weeks ago, whereby we created default blocks, lovely tabs, including vertical tabs and super responsive. Very, very nice. Link is in the card up there and in the description below. And you can download the code for that in the description below as well. Right mega menus, quite a lot of the same code and created mega men use. Pretty cool, huh? Very similar principle. There's a class on the link there that triggers the JS and shows the content. It's also a native navigation block as well. So you put in real links as well and everything kind of just works. You could put in socials, you can put in buttons as well, whatever you fancy. Shall we have a look to see how this works then? If we head over to the admin and we go to our editor. What I've done first of all is create a new pattern for the mega menu header and here you will see, let's just close that. We've got just a container, which is just to control the width and stuff. Then we've got the main header part in there with just a site title and a couple of menus. And I'll come back to that in a second. Coming in after that is the mega content. And this is basically is the same as what we had on the tabs, which was just different groups different panels that have got content in. And of course you can have anything you like in there. I've just got some demo content in here. So how this works is if we get back to our mega navigation and get that opened up, you'll see that on the links, we've got a class called mega link. That's what triggers the JS. And you see for all of these, they all have the same class on them. That's just a regular menu link and it has the link back to the tabs demo. Now with the mega content, th this, this container, this has a class on it as well, which is basically just so we can target that for a tiny bit of CSS. And all the panels have the same class that is this mega content. And that's kind of it. And all of that is sorted out by this little bit of CSS and the JS, which I put in here, obviously you'd put this in your theme if you wanted to get this into production. Right, let's have a look at that code. So here's the style part. These three items here are the main rules for controlling the layout. This couple here are just for aesthetics. And here's that JS, which is basically saying, have a look out for, same as the tab code, just saying, look out for mega link, look out for mega content. When one of those is clicked, then do one of these two things, which is if it's the active one, make it not active. And if it's not, add the active class to that menu item and remove it from all the others. Really simple. And of course, you can have as many items in, in your menu as you like, either mega panels or not. You just add another content panel there, add another link, put the associated CSS classes on it, and that's kind of it. Now let's talk about this other menu. The problem with mega menus is the responsive situation. I mean, you know, the clues in the name, isn't it? Mega, it doesn't, mega doesn't really work well on mobile. And I haven't tried to shoehorn this in. Yeah, you could do some clever stuff, but then there's, there's so many knock on effects of how it just doesn't work and would take a shed load of work to make it work, which is why we've got this 
secondary menu in here which is actually being hidden using Monsieur Diego's visibility plugin you see here it's just on the screen size hide on desktop hide on tablet and then it's the opposite with the the mega menu navigation you could do it on detection of device which would remove it from the HTML which would be better than on your larger tablets you'd lose the menu as well but essentially what it is is as we get smaller that menu disappears and on the mobile menu you, you just get a different menu and you obviously you would create a new menu that represents the sort of mega parts of the panels if you like i think it's you know i think it'll do for now of course you could get clever and you could do a pop-up as a mobile menu so you could get literally anything in there plus have show and hide tabs and stuff like that so it could be a bit mega so hold tight for that i'm going to get that one done anyway that is a little way of getting mega menus on WordPress with cool blocks. All the code patterns and template files are available for download in the link in the description and get your comments in below. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you get on if you try a little bit of mega menu action on your next project. And if you want to know about that tab component, here's your next block theme tutorial right here. But until next time, I shall see you later.